Hey guys, in our previous video, we explored what is interval match and in click with an example. So today, we will explore interval match uh, with key fields, that is uh, extended interval match. Okay, so so this is the example we saw last time, right? So we have uh, we had student name with marks, and we saw how to uh, link this uh, discrete marks into this range and how to grade out of it. Correct. Today what we are going to see is we have student name marks along with the subject okay so uh, i have took uh, three subjects for each student so this particular student has uh, got the mark details for three subjects okay so every subject has its own uh, uh, grade definition okay so if you see over here for physics this is the definition okay so the 95 to 100 is categorized as a Whereas in chemistry, 90 to 100 is categorized as A. Okay. Whereas in maths, 90, only 95 to 100 is categorized and it is called as A plus. Okay. So we could see there is difference in the name of the grade for uh, according to the subject. And there is also difference in the range as well. Okay. This is 95, this is 90 and this is 95. So you could also see, uh, say grade C uh, in physics is 75 to 84. Whereas grade C here is different, 70 to 79. Whereas here it is 80 to 84. So, so we could see the ranges are different. The names are different. Now we have to see how to link these two, right? So for a student, we have to see what is the mark. And we also have to see what is the subject. So according to the subject, I have to uh, pick this uh, rule. Uh, uh, basically to get the uh, corresponding grade, okay? So this is where the extended interval match helps us. So here I cannot just link on, only with mark. So I have to consider this field, subject field as well. Okay. This is the interval match we did last time. So we had student and marks, grade, followed by inner join, interval match based on mark, and this low and high grade, right? So this interval match is done based on marks. But today, what we are going to do is, I'm going to do an interval match based on two field, one more field along with mark, okay, which is the subject. And this is what we call it as interval match with key field, okay. This is going to be the key field. We can have more than one key field as well, okay. So today we are going to see with this uh, subject key field. So interval match followed by <coughs> my uh, grade definition, low distinct and high now since we have this key field right so i have to bring that as well so subject resident grade table okay and as we did last time so i will go with an inner join okay so inner join interval match based on marks and subject followed by the details of the grade de uh, definition for the grade table. Let me just quickly reload this. And we'll see how the data model looks like. So we could see subject and grade linked based on marks and subject. Okay. Now let's quickly create a table chart in the UI and let's have a look at it so let me add a table chart let me all add all the uh, dimensions see the student name followed by the subject and then his marks followed by the uh, grade so now let me yeah so we have three students right let me select a particular student let's say say if i take this particular student he has got 95 marks in all the three subjects but the grades are different okay as per the definition so we know 95 uh, falls in this range which is a again this range is a whereas here 95 to 100 is called as a plus in maths right and that's what we see over here so for maths according to the subject the grade is different similarly let me take this student so he has got same marks uh, in all three subjects but the grades are different right so for chemistry the, okay so 72 falls in c grade for chemistry whereas for other subject it is d grade okay 
so let's see what is 72 so which falls under this here 72 falls under here d category and similarly for here it is d category 72 65 to 74 so hope we got some basic understanding of uh, an extended interval match how to link interval match with an uh, key field right please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification thanks for watching